Welcome to the Midday Mobility class. I'm excited that you're here. We're gonna get started by standing and we're gonna just do a light march here. So from side to side, swing those arms. All right, from here, you're gonna put your hands on top of your shoulders and we're gonna do shoulders forwards. So we're doing nice big circles while marching. Now we're gonna reverse that. Go backwards with the shoulders, continue with the legs. Move forward with the shoulders. Move backwards with the shoulders. Perfect. Next, what we're gonna do is like climbing a ladder. So you're gonna reach up, bring it down towards the knee. Reach up, bring it down towards your knee. Just like you're climbing a ladder. From here, you're gonna step your leg back. And it's like you're covering your eyes, feeling a nice big stretch here and hold. Switch sides. One more each way. Go back to the marching. You got forward shoulder rolls. Backward shoulder rolls. Forwards again. Backwards again. Climb the ladder. Step behind, get that nice cross stretch. One more each way. Okay, last time, march, shoulder rolls. Go backwards. Go forwards. Go backwards. Climb that ladder. Step behind, get that nice big reach, nice big stretch. Next up, your hands are going to be on the shoulders. You're going to reach across towards that elbow, or you can do a slightly smaller motion. So if this is your range of motion, great. If not, you can go right across. From here, your right arm is going to go on top. Left arm comes below. You're going to give yourself a hug and then you're gonna pinch your shoulder blades back to bring the arms behind. So give yourself a hug, squeeze back. Once you've done three, you're gonna change arms. So my left arm goes up now, go back. One, two, three, arms stay out. You're gonna turn your arms down and back up. So I'm turning all the way down, back up. Now go across again twisting. Next up is the hug. So you're going to hug yourself, squeeze back for three, two, one, switch lead arm, three, two, one, arms go out and you're going to be turning that palm up and back. All right, one more, we're gonna cross and twist. Again, if this is your range, that's great. If you wanna get more out of it, just create bigger twists. Two more, one more. Give yourself a hug, go back for three, two, one. Other side for three, two, one. Turn those arms. Next step, your hands are out in front. You're gonna take one hand, you're gonna reach behind you, see how far you can twist. Come back to center, switching sides. See how far you can twist. 
Back to center and repeat. One more each way. Next up, we have lunges. We're gonna do forward lunges. So if this is your motion, you can just do a slight little bend and kick, then that's great. If you wanna go into a deeper lunge, you can, but what you're doing is you're pushing the floor away. So I'm going into a lunge, pushing the floor away. We're gonna do six on one leg, six on the other, and it's totally okay to do the little ones. So lunge, kick. And again, I'm pushing the floor away, really relying on my back leg to be working here. Working a little bit of balance as well. Once you've done six, switch legs. Once you've done six, you're gonna stand and you're gonna do arm circles nice and big and then slowly shorten the range so that you become tiny little circles. Reverse those circles, start making them bigger and bigger. And now we're gonna go back to that spinal twist. So hands in front, reach behind and switch sides. Nice big spinal twist here. From here, we have those forward steps to the pushback. So again, you can do small little ones or go into the lunge and kick. We got six, that's one, two. Once you've done six, we're gonna change sides. Push away. Next up, we got standing arm circles. So start really big, start making that smaller and smaller until you have tiny little circles. Change direction, start with small circles and keep getting bigger. Next up, you're gonna step out. You can go as wide as you feel comfortable or you can go a little bit more narrow to make it easier. You're gonna reach down opposite hand to the opposite side of the calf. And I want you to open up your chest and hold there for a stretch. If you want, you can add in a straight arm, totally up to you. Chain sides, do the same thing. And go back and forth here at your own pace. You can play with how wide your legs are. Try it a little bit wider. One more each way. Next up, we have curtsies. So again, we can limit the range of motion and just bounce in this range. Or if you have the mobility, you can go down, but make sure that knee never touches the ground. We're gonna go six one way, six the other. So pick that range that you want, and you're just gonna go up and down. Once you've done six, switch sides, same thing. From here, we're gonna go back into those windmills. So again, find your leg distance, reach for the floor, go across, get that chest to open. You can stay there or extend the arm. That's your choice. And we're gonna go back and forth here. Go at your own pace. Sometimes it feels better to just hold that stretch. Sometimes it feels better to be a little bit more dynamic. Play with the leg position. See if you like the legs a little wider or narrower. One more each side. Now we're gonna go back to those curtsy squats. Again, you can just bounce in this range, or if you want, you can go a little deeper. Change 
change sides, same thing. Next up we have calf raises. Now with these calf raises, you can hold on to a wall for balance. We have 10 of these, so you're lifting up, coming down. Once you've done 10, you're gonna stay up on your toes. Now, if that's too difficult, you can grab a book for underneath your heels. What we're gonna do is a narrow squat. Having those heels lifted, it's gonna put more emphasis into the quads. So we've got six squats like this where you're up onto your toes or supported by a book. You're gonna start bending the knees slowly and see how far you can go down. Maybe you can go down towards your heels. Maybe you're stopping halfway. We have six of these. So toes up, squat down. Again, you can totally use that book for support or if you want a little bit more of a challenge, hold up those heels using your strong muscles. So this is really gonna get into the quads. Once you've done six, then we have those calf raises again for 10. Think about a long spine here. Once you've done 10 calf raises, again, you can see my legs are pretty narrow here. You're up onto your toes and then you've got those six squats again. Again, working in your range of motion. And if you want, you can hold on to your desk and see if you can go any further down with that range. The thing is our bodies get comfortable with what it's used to. And so if you never bend into those deep ranges, we start losing it. All right, next we're gonna go for a swim. So we were doing a front stroke, but not a normal front stroke. I want it to be really over-exaggerated. And yes, I realize if you swim like this, you'd be probably knocking into the lanes. But what we're trying to do is get the shoulders, the hip, and the spine going. From here, we're gonna switch to backstroke. So really reach behind, grab the water. Get that spine moving for you. From here, we're gonna do breaststroke. So you're gonna reach out in front of you and then pull the water behind you. And I'm getting my whole spine involved. Switch to front stroke again. So again, pull that water. Imagine that there's water that you're pulling towards your hip bones. Get that motion going and don't worry about how silly it looks. You can try different strokes too. See if it feels going high, going low, going across. Just play with that. We're just trying to get that spine to move. Switch to backstroke, do the same thing. Maybe you stand still and do a windmill. Maybe you're really reaching back. Maybe you want that extension piece. Whatever feels good with the spine. And into that breaststroke again. This one, I'm really over-exaggerating the shoulder motion and I'm also getting a spinal wave in there. One more. So next up, if you need something to hold on to, you can. We've done that curtsy squat before where we were bouncing. This time we're gonna add in a leg lift. So minimal motion, you're gonna just squat down, kick up, squat down, or even lift up. What we're trying to do is get these guys to crunch together. So we're gonna do six of these, where you either curtsy or slight little bend and lift up the leg. Once you've done six, switch sides. So curtsy and kick. You can absolutely use your desk or your chair to help with balance. Okay. 
Once you've done six, next we have a reverse step to a kick. So version number one, you just step back, bring the knee up. Step back, bring the knee up. The next one is step back, kick towards your opposite hand, or you can go into a full lunge and kick. We have six of whatever variation you wanna do. Once you've done six, you're gonna switch sides. Again, it doesn't matter the variation you choose. Once you've done six, we're gonna do a hip hinge. So a little bend in my knees, and I'm pushing my bum back until I feel a stretch into my hamstrings, taking my hands and pushing away. Holding. Stand on up and repeat. We've got four of these. So that's one repetition. Go again. That's two. That's three. That's four. We're gonna go back to that curtsy squat. So again, you can just play with this range or you can go deeper, it's up to you. But you got six of these. Once you've done six, change sides, same thing. Next up, you can either step back and bring the knee up, you can step back and kick across, or go into your lunge. You have six of whichever variation you choose. Once you've done six, change sides. And back into that hip hinge. So pushing those hips back, pushing arms forward and holding. We've got four of these. Two more. One more. Next up, we've got a side stretch. So you're gonna reach over to the side, come back to center, reach to the other side. If you want an added squat, squat when we switch sides. And switch. Again, that squat is totally optional. One more each way. So next I would grab something onto balance, whether it's the wall or your desk. And what we're doing is we're pinching the side. So you're really getting that to crunch. So you can either crunch here or you can bring the leg out straight. It's up to you. I'm gonna alternate. Switching sides, same thing. All right, back to that stretch. Again, the squat is completely optional. You can just stretch the sides without adding that squat. One more each way. Really feel that stretch. It's 
So again, you can just do this, or you can alternate, or you can just have a straight leg to you. Change sides. Awesome, grab a chair. Lastly, we're stretching out the neck. So bring your ear down to one side, take your hand, pull it down, feel a nice big stretch right here. Come back to center, grab the back of your head, lift it up towards the ceiling, tuck it down. Other side, drop your ear down again. I'm not reefing on my neck, I'm just assisting. Now you're gonna look up towards the ceiling. Feeling a nice big stretch right here. And we're gonna repeat that again, ear down. And go forward. I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you so much for following along with my video. I hope you guys notice a big change. Ear down to the side in both mobility and mood. Again, you can email me with any kind of suggestions that you'd like to see in these classes. Chin up. And these classes happen every Wednesday at noon, either live or recorded. Next, we're going to do three big uh, circles with the neck. And change direction. And you're done. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.